What's going on YouTube? Frank here. It's been a while. Um, I have my 05 645 and it has 137,000 miles and I'm finally going to redo the suspension because it is just bouncing way too much. I don't like the way it feels and you can feel the road um, underneath you, which I hate. So I bought Bilstein B4, which is the OEM equivalent, um, if not the OEM part. Uh, Les Joe 4 springs from Sweden and all the small parts um, that I need to make this build while it's not on the car. So I bought everything brand new. So all I have to do is go out there, swap them out. So let's take a look at the parts that I bought. All right, so these are the uh, Bilstein B4s, uh, Les Joe 4 springs. And all this is brand new. Um, there's two washers that are in there that's brand new. And then the top is brand new. Um, I also have the rears, but I'm still waiting on the bump stops. Since I have a 19 by 10 back rim, uh, the inners are getting chewed up pretty bad. So I bought, um, the, uh, specialty, um, products, uh, camber kit for the rear. I already installed one. I still have to do the other one. I... I'm gonna to have to have these pressed in because they don't um, they they don't press in all the way. As you can see, it's still kind of out. Then I did install these. Uh, this is for the toe. So I want negative toe, negative camber, so I get at least one year's worth of the super expensive tires that I have in the back. To make my job easier, I always wanted one of these, so I went ahead and I bought one. Um, this clamshell design is a lot better than torquing with those twenty dollar pieces. The Bilsteins come with a uh, 22 millimeter or 7 eighths nut. Um, I could not use the impact. Um, they're right there. I could not use them because the diameter would not allow it to insert. So the impact would not fit in there. But this one, this is a 7 eighths, fits right in. I also purchased uh, these uh, T-handles. It makes the job a lot easier. goes in to the top of the... Uh, uh, strut all right so I want to keep this under five minutes so basically um, when you go on YouTube um, uh, Bavarian Auto talks about putting the clamshell where is this on this part I do not advise that this will compress by just going down one and up one As you can see, it is starting to compress nicely. All right, so now it's fully compressed. It did have to go down a bit. So I put on the bottom um, isolator, the top isolator, the strut cap, and uh, everything fits right in. For the uh, bottom, I did put some soapy water uh, so that the uh, spring slides right onto the perch of the bottom. These are the two washers that I purchased. This goes on top of the perch, of the upper perch. And then this goes on top of it like this. This is the uh, bearing cover. Again, uh, the bolt is a 22 millimeter. I did not want to pay $61 for a specialty tool. So this is a 7 8 Attached to a ratchet, uh, a ratcheting wrench, um, lock pliers. And I'm going to use the... Uh, the um, T Allen to tighten it up. All right, so let's start to tighten this up. So you just twist, lift, keep the Allen in place, twist, just keep doing that till it bottoms out. All right, so everything is tightened up. Now the last part is to start to unravel this. Just make sure that everything is brought into in line, that everything touches. So this is touching here, and I gotta just twist this one. Okay. Alrighty. So hopefully I do not run out of footage. I'm just gonna start to. Just make sure everything is lined up. They feel perfect. 
just slowly just start to ratchet away. You can see it moving. Everything appears to be centered properly. This is a little off center, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But you pretty much get the idea. Let me tighten this up. 